<laughs> Tell you what, since Adam's been full episodes on YouTube, he's gone very commercial. Have you got a secret sponsorship that you're not oh, telling me about? Actually, I don't know whether we'll be allowed to have that on camera. Really? Yeah. So, I mean, Elmhurst Spring as the zone water, I think we'll be okay with. If anything sums up where we are in our <laughs> respective careers, you getting sponsored by Iron Brew Extra, which is a fairly cool... For, I know it's a British company, but it's pretty cool. It's also the colours of the podcast, isn't it? It's the colours of the podcast. And then I'm sponsored by Asda's own still natural water. <laughs> Bottled at Elmhurst um, Spring. Mm, wicked. Uh, That's how my career feels. It feels like Asda's own. It really does. <laughs> like, I'll do a job, but you'd be pissed off if you got it for Christmas. It's like a hamper. As the hamper. No frills. You're not Rice Krispies, you're Crispy Dice. <laughs> oh, God. I love those knockoff. Choco Flakes. Love those knockoff fucking brands. They're quality, aren't they? Like when you go on holiday in Tenerife and they've got all the fucking Bacardi, Smirnoff, Malibu, and you're like, can I have, like, whatever, double vodka? And they're like, yeah, you can. Shmelnikov comes out from <laughs> under the thing. You're like, uh, I feel like I've been lied to by your shelves. When um, Bermudi, me and Jay coconut went, drink. Me and Jay went to Crete in September last year, post Edinburgh Festival. It's very nice, Crete, isn't it? No, it it's what? it's hot, and our hotel was nice. But in general, Crete looks like someone set a part of Greece on fire and didn't stay around to see. <laughs> What fucking damage they done? I think historically that has literally happened to Crete. They've been shot on <laughs> quite a few times. Most recently by the fucking Germans who treated them like shit. We went to hol on holiday in Crete and we went to a bakery up in the hills, got a car, drove into the hills. Not a touristy spot, little village, beautiful, young German family in front of us getting served in the... There's an accent coming here, isn't there? Yeah. No, well, no, be they didn't, they didn't, they were trying to speak English. They just wanted some rolls. And I, like, I, this must have been eggy because I was like eight or nine years old at the time and I fucking noticed it. I must have only been like 10. The woman serving them was like, <laughs> if you could, like, if you could shit in a roll discreetly, like under the couch, she definitely would have. And the, the, they were only a young couple. They had a small child and it was so awkward. And just as they were leaving, you were like, oh, that, she was like, yeah, brother, brother. Yeah, yeah, thank you. <laughs> like, could nothing more could have said fuck off from my shop. And then as soon as we went, can we have some bread in our English accent? They were like, English! <laughs> ah! <laughs> it was like fucking free rolls, a croissant being thrown in. And why, it's because, why do you think they hated Germans? Because the Nazis occupied Crete in like the, the Second World War and were fucking tyrants. Like, just dreadful. That's uh, really not like the Nazis. They normally no. really tidy and neat and look after everyone. Hey guys, welcome. I know if you have taken to Ireland. <laughs> There's a lot of bad things being said about us, but we're fairly friendly. <laughs> and we will organize the leisure centers <laughs> and there will be soft play for everybody. <laughs> Unless you're a Jew. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we got, we got this amazing level of service and the German family was still in the shop. And I remember as a kid being like, dude, don't make it so awkward. Let them at least leave before you lick our asses. You know your country's fucked up in the past if British people behind you are welcomed. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, British people have such a shit reputation all over the fucking world. And there's, like, two or three countries where they're like, you're more of a cunt than the British. Yeah. And uh, I, I think as well... That I love Germans. I think Germans are quite sound. I think they're sort of, like... They are. ...overcorrecting. Do you know what I mean? I don't even... I, they are so like us genetically as well. Like, the Ang, we're basically Anglo-Saxons, aren't we? We've, we're a Germanic people. You know when you look at, like, nationalities at the World Cup and you and you sort of look at the French and they look a little bit Gallic and the Spaniards are very sort of... You can tell the sort of... The genealogy is different. And then you look at Germans and you're like, that German team could definitely be the English team. <laughs> like, it's, it's not, because we are very similar. And you meet Germans and they're well sound. But then in certain places in the world, you're like, oh, God. Germans are, are doing what, like, I do when I've got too pissed and Jade's pissed off with me. You know, like the next day when I've been a fucking nightmare, I've come in, I've had like a block of cheese straight from the fridge. I've opened 12 packs of crisps and finished half of them, left them all over the place. I've shit all over the bathroom. I've scared the dog. And the next day she's like, you're a dickhead. So like for that week, you're like on probation. 
and you have to like get her flowers get you do all the dishes all the domestic stuff i have to take care of fucking everything i tidy everything i do all the cleaning up that's what germany have had to still do since like the world was 70 years let's start a union (laughs) we will give a lot of money to it and the union will be between me and you and we'll do a lot of cleaning of the shit in the bathroom and we'll make friends with everybody and we promise never to shit in the bathroom again Germany shagged all our sisters and is forever a for it. Holy shit. <laughs> I love going on holiday in places where they're not used to British people. Like, I've been, we've been to Italy once, and you just sort of expect people to be like, oh, God, fucking English tourists. But that only happens in basically Spain, Portugal, Turkey, Greece, where they're fucking useless. If you're in the Italian hills, they're like, oh, you're English. And it's the weirdest feeling to be like, we are English. Are they taking the piss? Isn't it weird? It's just because they've never had loads of tourists from there. How, like, English, if you call someone, he's English. It sounds quite sort of posh and almost royal. But British is just the opposite, isn't it? Does it? We hate the British. The English. The, they like you... tea. They have nanas and tea cozies. I uh, I think it's really when you're gigging in Scotland or Wales and you say this country or you know what we're like, the British. <laughs> you can feel the crab in like... <laughs> I, made, I made that in, mistake in, at one English of my sounds nice, but we've pissed so many people off. The Glasgow tour dates when I was like in this country and I went, and I'm talking about Britain, not Scotland. And I got a boo and I was like, look, we gave you the chance to fucking leave. And you said, no, shut up. You're ours forever. <laughs> and you could feel like the, it got a laugh, but there was people in the room like, <laughs> I'm going to fucking stab this cunt in the Glasgow. fucking break. Like Glasgow are basically, gigging in Glasgow is like being a German in a bread shop in Crete sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, oh, is it? Especially when they've had fucking old Tommy Glasgow on before. You're like, yeah. what the fuck? Who What's the it f- like in G12 Elfie LFU? <laughs> that, that is- that? What the fuck was that? Was that a Glaswegian postcard? Yeah. That's what I was doing. G12 LFU. G12 LFU. Oh, that streets really. Especially numbers 12 to 26. Rough cunts around there. Oh, a bit of local. Oh, the old local. Anyway, went on holidays to Crete with Jake. <laughs> Good point. That was my fault. That was my fault. <laughs>